What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So I wanted to bring you this video regarding my Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Um, a lot of you drivers have probably gone out and upgraded your device to the Note 7 and now you're receiving all this information that your phone could explode and that it is under a mandatory recall. Now there have been two recalls on the Note 7. I have now been through both of them. Um, the first one was a hassle. I'm with Verizon Wireless by the way. Um, the first one was a really big hassle. I had to stand in line and wait for over an hour to get in. And once I got in, they informed me that I needed the box and accessories or they wouldn't take the phone back. So I had to turn around, go home, get the box and the accessories, and then turn around, come back, stand in line again for over an hour, and eventually got to trade in my Note 7 for a new one. Now, all was supposed to be well and good until I got a text message from Verizon and then I got a direct message from Samsung on my phone both informing me that there was a mandatory recall on all Note 7's and they were to be returned. Now I'm not gonna lie this pissed me off okay um, I've gone through a lot of hassle and headache to get the Note 7 only to be told I have to return it. So. I do some research and if you guys don't know, um, Samsung is going to be pushing out an OTA update um, worldwide through all carriers. Your phone will eventually be bricked. They will shut down the IMEI and the phone will not be usable anymore. So if you have one, I highly recommend you get it back to wherever you got it from, get your money back and get something else. Now I upgraded to the Note 7 from the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I loved the phone, but I really wanted the Note 7. Um, so, Verizon, I don't know how it works with other carriers, but I want to inform specifically Verizon customers, don't get fucked over by Verizon because they tried to pull a fast one on me, and I'm telling you, I told them I was going to do a YouTube video about it. I told them that I was going to end up contacting an attorney if necessary. And at a bare minimum, I would be filing small claim against them in small claims court here in Oklahoma County for ripping me off for uh, almost $300. Now, after all that was said and done, I ended up getting a phone call saying that they were going to give me the money that I said they owed me back even though the manager of the store at the time claimed they didn't owe me anything. So let me inform you on how this works with Verizon. So Verizon does not have a, uh, I don't know what you call it, where you walk into the store, say you see a phone that you just have to have and you're like, you know what, I want this phone, I'll sign a two year contract and pay $199, right? You get a discounted price on the phone for signing a contract. Verizon doesn't do that anymore. What Verizon does is you can either buy the phone outright at retail price, and nobody's going to do that, or you can get on a device payment plan. Over the course of, uh, I believe it's 24 months, you pay something like $32.99 a month. Now, this pretty much leaves you out of a contract. You can cancel at any time. What this video is about is the program that they call Edge Up. You can edge up yearly. Every year as a new phone comes out, you can simply pay off 50% of the balance of your device. So for a $900 device, you need to pay out $450. So it doesn't matter um, if six months has gone by and there's a new device out or a year has gone by and there's a new device out. Simply pay off 50% of the contract you had on that phone. Give them the phone back. They will give you the newest model. Sounds great. Well, here's the catch. When it came to the Note 7, I edged up from my S7 Edge that I already had. It cost me $266 to edge up to the next uh, device. Now, here's the part that I'm still not satisfied with. I paid $266 to pay my contract 50% in full. That way I could give them the phone and get the Note 7. Well, they tell me you have to bring the Note 7 back. So I go back to them with the Note 7 and I hand it to them. I tell the lady, um, I want the S7 Edge. She says, no problem. And then she proceeds to tell me that I need to pay her $66 at checkout. And I'm like, I shouldn't pay for anything. 
She said, well, it's for the fees and taxes. I said, no, I already paid taxes on the last S7 Edge. I paid taxes on the Note 7 that you just took back from me. And now you want me to pay $66 in tax for a new phone? I told her I shouldn't be paying anything out of pocket. Well, she uh, argued with me to the point where I said, give me my Note 7 back. I'm going to deal with this at a later time. And she refused to give me my phone. Long story short, she offered to refund me the $66, which still had to be paid, but she was going to refund it right back to me at the end of the at the end of the uh, business day. I have not gotten that money back. I'll be going back to Verizon to deal with that. Now, here's my biggest issue. My S7 Edge that I had to edge up, I had to pay $266 to get the Note 7. Well, I told her, what happens to that $266? She said, oh, that's gone. You don't get that back. Bullshit. Where's my money? I got really angry with this lady. You're telling me that you, Samsung, whoever, I don't care, somebody screwed up. And now you want me to pay for it? Not going to happen, lady. Not me. You may be pulling the wool over all these other customers' eyes, but you're not pulling the wool over mine. Somebody owes me that money. Because here's the deal. I paid 266 plus the rest of the monthly payments that I made to get that phone 50% of the way paid off. They took the phone from me gave me a new phone and then took that phone back from me and then handed me the same phone I used to have and tried telling me that I have to start paying for this from scratch. Bullshit. Explain to me how that works. You want to take this phone, give me a new phone, recall the new phone, then give me the same phone again and tell me that all the money I've paid for all of this is just gone. I don't fucking think so. Sorry, guys, I'm really heated about this issue. Heated, Samsung, get it? It's a fucking pun. I'm pissed. I'm pissed that they tried to screw me. And even then, I only got them to give me the 266 This phone was something like $900. They should be giving me every dollar I paid on the last phone into this one. And I shouldn't have to pay the tax. I have not yet gotten the money back on the taxes that I paid either. So I'm going to be dealing with this again and somebody's going to do something. But this video is simply about my experience with Verizon Wireless and the uh, Note 7 issue. So if you're with Verizon or if you're with any other company and they have a similar plan and, they're, and you had to pay to edge up, don't let them get away with just keeping all of your money and making you go back to the same old phone you had before and paying from scratch again because that doesn't make any sense. And the lady was like, well, you could choose any other phone. And I'm sitting there going, what other phone? What other phone can I go to? I was with the Note 7. What other phone can I go to? It's like, well, uh, you could go with an iPhone. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? iPhone users don't typically switch to Android. Android users don't typically switch to iPhone. I was like, you work for Verizon. You know this. Come on. You know, let's not BS each other, okay? Every other phone other than like the Moto Z Force was old. So being with Samsung for a very long time, I don't have much of a choice but to go back to a Samsung S7. She was like, well, you could go to a Note 5. A Note 5? Are you kidding me? A two-year-old phone that has no SSD. I have a 256 gig card in this. You want me to go back to an S5? or to a Note 5, it's not waterproof, it doesn't have wireless charging, and it doesn't have expandable memory. Why in the hell would I want to go with a Note 5 when I could go back to the S7? Not to mention, if you stick with uh, Samsung, uh, they offer a $100 bill credit for sticking with Samsung. So, I wanted that $100 bill credit. I'm not going to lie, that's, that's what that was about. And the fact that I know this phone, I've been with Samsung a long time, Yeah, somebody screwed up, but I still believe in the company, and... Oops, <laughs> let's turn that off. I still believe in the company. I wanted the bill credit, and I like the S7 Edge. So, guys, just wanted to forewarn you, no matter what carrier you're with, if you had to edge up or pay for the upgrade or whatever, don't let them put you back in an old phone and keep all the money you paid, because they can't do that. Just trying to look out for you and share my experience. As always, like, comment, subscribe, be safe out there, and Uber on.